Just doing our makeup. Done. Thought I'd do it down here to keep her company because I didn't want to leave her down here by herself. She asked me to get her makeup and we've been sat doing our makeup together, haven't we? Oh, you all finished? Yes. Good job. Oh, well, Mummy's still doing her makeup. I thought I would vlog today. We're just going around, getting odd jobs done around the house and uh, doing bits out and about. And I thought you guys might like to go about the day with us. Uh, it's Sunday, Doug's on his way home. This is why I'm downstairs doing my makeup because um, I didn't get up early enough to do it before I got Delilah up. And um, Doug was out last night and he stayed at his friends over in London. He'll be back any second and Delilah and I are not ready. <laughs> so um, yeah, we're just doing that now. Daddy's home. plan for the first half of the day is do a food shop because our fridge is looking very bare. Then we're going to go and hopefully rent a rug doctor to clean the hallway carpet because um, when we moved in we didn't want to professionally get all the carpets clean because it's really expensive it really adds up when you've got a whole house to do and we had the idea that we'd be putting wood flooring down at some point this year so we thought there's no point but the carpet is getting so grubby now and we probably won't look into getting wood floor until the end of summer so i'd just like to clean it because um it's just really gross now so um yeah hopefully rent a rug doctor i've got to go get some mulch for the garden because i want to do some stuff in the garden later because that's been neglected um for the last month or two i've done the bare minimum of water and everything but there's a lot of weeding to do and bits and bobs like that and then i'm going to nip into town and try and find some birthday bits and whilst i do that doug and delilah um will go to the park <laughs> We are looking for mulch, Delilah. We have? have to have it here. Oh, there we go, Doug. Yeah, that's what I want. Heavy. It is heavy. We go, thank you, Daddy, for carrying it. Got the rug doctor. Now we're going to go do a bit of a food shop. Mummy's gonna. Sorry, I'm so hungry. I had to get a sandwich and change fish. And you. Mummy's gonna go do super secret birthday stuff. Okay. It's your birthday next week. Me. Yeah. How old are you going to be? Two. No, that's how old you are now. How old will you be on your birthday? Three. Three. Bye. Bye. Bye, Mummy. Bye, gorgeous. I'll see you in a bit. Yes. Yeah.
Delilah and I just watched The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Uh, she asked to watch that instead of having a story before nap time. I thought I would um, show you some of Delilah's birthday presents that have arrived. I say some, it's just a few books. She has How to Catch a Star by Oliver Jeffer. And so I picked her up the other three board books. I quite, I like the board books. You can get bigger paper versions, but as her other book is a board book, I thought I might as well keep it uniform. She's really getting into her books now and um, I feel like I've read the same ones again and again and also a lot of her um, old ones are quite young for her so I thought birthday was the perfect excuse to buy her some new books. Got really nice illustrations and a story but not too many words. Um, just I think really perfect for her age group and um, easy for her to flick the pages and yeah, they're just nice books. So I've got her up and down, the way back home, and um, lost and found. Anyway, let's go figure out how to use this rug doctor. Never used one before, but um, I'm hoping it does a good job. There's this patch here on the floor from where we've walked in over the last, well, however long we've been here, almost a year now, 10 months, nine months. There's just this black patch, you can't see it so bad. Um, on camera but to just give you an idea of what the carpet color should be you can oh can you see it it's not very clear on camera but you can see that the carpet's much lighter here than it is here so i've given the hallway and stairs a hoover now it just says you need to add 150 mils in here and then fill it up with water. I'm gonna tackle the stairs first, make my way down and finish in here. Just went to turn it on and it is so loud. I'm gonna have to come back to that later when Delilah's up. She can play in the garden or something because um, there's no way she's gonna sleep through that. So instead, I'm gonna head into the garden and do the one thing I've been dreading doing, which is weeding the, uh, the raised beds I'll show you it's gotten really bad as you can see we've got a lot of weeds in here I don't know what these are but they are taking over so I need to get rid of all of those and then I'm going to cover it with this mulch in the hopes that it um, suppresses them and stops them coming back through I'm gonna go in now and get rid of the, um, the little ones I can see. I've been having difficulty with the courgettes, so we've got loads of courgettes growing. As you can see, we've got lots coming along here. And I can't believe how big this courgette plant that started off as a tiny little plant over there has gotten this big. Except all of them are rotten. They'll get to, let me show you. They'll get to kind of this size. Although actually, no, actually, they probably get to about half the size of these and then they start to rot from the from the flower end. After a bit of research, I realised that they're probably lacking in nutrients because although I've been fertilising my tomatoes and blueberries and raspberries and strawberries, I just didn't think, I don't know why, I didn't think to fertilise the raised bed. And research tells me that they're probably lacking in some key nutrients like calcium so i fertilized them the other day i'm going to fertilize them again today dog's mum's just snipped around to have a tea and uh, and she bought ice cream with her so we've been in the garden eating ice cream <laughs> Thank you. 
dog's been weeding all the beds over there oh my goodness i can't wait to get rid of this trampoline next week found someone that will take it so i'm really glad we don't have to take it to the tip because that would have been a bit of a waste i mean it is falling apart but it's still usable so um someone's going to take it off our hands and then we can finally put the bench back anyway so dog's been weeding up there and neatening it all up and i have been putting this mulch all over this bed it's funny how children say mine instead of my. They learn by copying. Done about half the things I wanted to get done in the garden today. Today's proven to not be as productive as I'd hoped. I think I had high expectations of how many things I wanted to get done. And also Doug's mum came round and um, been playing with Delilah as well. She's now just watching some CBBs after having her dinner uh, before we get her in the bath and into bed. I'll probably do a little bit more in the garden uh, when she's in the bath. Although I have no energy, I've had really late nights all week. Oh, <laughs> look gorgeous. Whilst Delilah watches CBeebies, I'm going to start going through her toys and sort them out, uh, deciding which ones we're going to keep, but maybe are too young and they're going in the attic, and ones that will end up in the charity shop, including books, because we have a lot of books, and ones like this book are lovely, and we'll keep those. Uh, but ones like like this that are very tatty and ripped and some of the slidey things aren't working. Uh, oh, I don't even know if a charity shop would want this because it is half broken. Been loved, but she's grown out of it and it, it's, it's very broken. So we'll have to figure out what to do with books like that. Cue another time lapse. more organized around here not so much clutter left some of her books in here she's got puzzles a wooden puzzle some of her toys and then i can rotate as she gets bored with them although to be honest if there's nothing she wants to play with down here she usually just goes either in the kitchen where her small kitchen is or upstairs where she's got other toys point is it's looking much better when i feel like i have some more beans i will tackle the greenhouse i mean there's not really it's not really anything to do apart from putting soil back and getting rid of um, kale plants that have died off. However, I am going to plant up the third aubergine into a pot and finish mulching the blueberry plants because they've been getting loads of weeds in them too. This is going well. I just managed to pour half of that onto my foot. My foot was buried underneath that. Are you ready for bed? Have you just yeah. had a bath? Let's get you into your gym jams and into bed, shall we? Thank you. 
my flow magazine whilst I wait for dinner to cook and do nothing for the rest of the evening. <laughs> Feels good to get some of the garden bits done, especially that weeding. I need to go put my veggie sausages in actually um, and then I will get on and read my magazine. We're having a very quick roast dinner tonight. Doug went out and bought some um, Aunt Betty roast potatoes. I'm gonna fling some corn sausages in. We've got some veggie stuffing again, Aunt Bessie's. Um, I'm gonna have some veg. Aunt Bessie Yorkshire, Yorkshire's very much a cheap roast, but I'm very much looking forward to it. So excited, Queer Eyes back for season four? What season is it? Yeah, four. Very excited. Almost, almost forgot to end the vlog. I came upstairs to get ready for bed and then I remembered I left my camera on the sofa. So I ran back downstairs, got it, and I should probably end the vlog. I see you for the start for vloggers to face in. Bye. Doug just creeping in the background.